breaking news. Nigeria government begins official negotiation with European Union to extradite Prime Minister Mazi Simon Ekpa from Finland. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite Channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 28th of August 2024 and I have breaking information for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news because it's very very important I can assure you my people. The federal government of the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, is currently engaging the European Union for the possible extradition of the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, His Excellency Ekma Simon Unjoko, to the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria. I want all of you listening to me right now to follow me as we read this very news in details from one of the zoo media the leadership and after that i will take you to another platform so that we may read their own and see how they are reporting it at the same time so let us read according to that title they say biafra federal government engaging eu to extradite simon the dhq defense headquarters there is nothing like defense the zoo army is a terrorist organization Major General Edward Buba has said the federal government will respond appropriately through the European Union. Oh, Britain has failed them. Now, you people listening do not understand what happened. <laughs> the reason why the zoo has not been able to do anything since is because they have been waiting for Britain to do something for them. The same way Britain helped them to protect Kenya and the crime that they committed against Mazin Amdekano. They have been waiting for Britain to help them to do something on Mazin Samanekpa. But unfortunately, it is now done on them. They have seen that Britain is handicapped. They cannot do anything. First of all, Mazin Samanekpa has never broken any law. Secondly, he is a Finnish citizen who has never committed any crime in Finland. Thirdly, he is a freedom fighter. If you say you want to extradite him to the zoo, on which crime? That's why the Finnish you know, foreign minister told them that this issue has absolutely nothing to do with politics. It is not political, rather it is by law. It is going to be handled by law, based on law, based on what the law says. That's what that what they have not understood it. <laughs> you understand? So UK has failed them. Now they are engaging the European Union. Let us continue. I have a word for them. He stated this while reacting to a social media post by Simon Ekpa announcing 2 or 2nd December 2024 as the date for the map presentation and official declaration of the Biafra Republic. General Abuba, when contacted, said, while military operations against the indigenous people of Biafra and Eastern Security Network IPOB slash ESN will be sustained, the federal government will deploy diplomatic channels to get the leader Simon Ekpa from Finland. To get the leader Simon Ekpa from Finland. And he's talking about Eastern Security Network and IPOB. This man must be a fool. This idiot must be a coward. Simon Ekpa is nowhere the leader of IPOB Nigeria or Eastern Security Network. As a matter of fact, the, there is nothing like ESN anymore. And the worst part is that they know it. They know. Biafra people now have government in exile and of course the de facto government in homeland. And you can never run a government without military and uh, security operatives. So what we have is military which is called the biafra defense forces you must know this know it and know peace that you may live mad people everywhere stop talking about uh, ipob or esn there is absolutely nothing like that now he said the federal government would respond appropriately to the finnish government through the eu they are now hoping on eu <laughs> on the part of the military troops will sustain operations against ipob esn 
Simon Epa, the leader of the Biafra government in exile, the leader of, not the leader, the prime minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. When you want to address him, address him properly. Mad people everywhere. Address him properly. The prime minister of the Biafra Republic. You must put that republic here. Don't jump anything. Biafra Republic government in exile, BLGIA now announced that the government will unveil the map of the 40 united states of biafra and issue a declaration on december 2nd 2024. Epa, who claims to be the prime minister of blgie announced via his official social media handle he stated that the move aimed to hasten the realization of biafra's independence he said the Biafra government is preparing to present the complete map of Biafra on December 2nd, 2024. Now, this one is from the leadership, right? Leadership is one of the Zoo media platform. Let me take you now to the Daily Post. From the Daily Post, we can be able to read and of course understand better how they are reporting their own news. According to their title, they said, Biafra map. Nigerian government moves for Simon Epa's extradition. All of this news happened today. All of these, you know, publications happened today. They are all today's news. You can see August 28, 2024. Now, let us read in full details. They said, the defense headquarters, DHQ, has disclosed that the Nigerian government is engaging the European Union, EU, towards extraditing self-acclaimed Biafra Prime Minister, Simon Epa. DHQ Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Guba, spoke in response to Epa's announcement of December 2 as the date for the map presentation and official declaration of the Biafra Republic. Addressing newsmen in Abuja on Tuesday, Buba said the Nigeria government will respond appropriately through the EU. <laughs> Their last hope, I hope, I hope, after the failure of EU to help you, because I know they have failed already. They have failed. EU has failed. I am not challenging them, but I'm telling them that they have failed because I know they cannot do anything outside the law because EU respect the law. EU, European Union, operate through the law. They, don't, they are not Britain. EU is not Britain, the greedy and envy set of people and government. They are not Britain. They are European Union that operate within the law. So, in fact, they are not the ones that failed. The zoo, the Nigeria government has failed going through the EU because EU cannot help them. So, EU did not fail, but Nigeria government failed. So, I hope that after the failure of the zoo government through the EU for this so-called negotiation to extradite Mazi Samanekba, I hope after this failure, they are going to allow Biafra to go because I, as it stands today now, EU is their final bus stop which they have already failed before the arrival they have failed before the arrival you understand so i want you to you know pay attention to this he said the federal government will respond appropriately to the finnish government through the eu on the part of the military troops will sustain operations against ipob slash esl Egba had unveiled the map of the 40 united states of biafra and issued a declaration on december 2nd 2024. He disclosed that the move was aimed at expediting the actualization of Biafra's independence. The Biafra government is preparing to present the complete map of Biafra on December 2, 2024, Ekba claimed. It is not claimed, Ekba said. Prime Minister Ekba Simon Njoko said, not claimed. Now, I want to, you know, use this opportunity to talk to the zoo government because you are going to the EU as you have failed. Britain has failed you. Britain failed them woefully because, first of all, Britain cannot lobby EU because they are no longer part of European Union, right? Britain left European Union as it stands today. EU is not even happy with Britain. EU is angry with Britain because of the way Britain exited European Union. So EU is not happy for Britain. In fact, they are, as it stands today, they have nothing in common. 
and Britain has no face to lobby European Union, at least for now. So, since the zoo failed through Britain, they have now gone straight to the EU. Remember, sometime in the past, Tinubu approached the former, you know, German Chancellor, and that one turned him down, which the Prime Minister also announced. That one turned him down. And now they are going straight to European Union to lobby them, to help them, you know. How can European Union extradite a citizen of Finland to the zoo? I don't understand how it can happen. You know, I'm trying to figure it out. Mazi Simonekba is a citizen of Finland. Of course, I know that Finland is part and parcel of the European Union. But Finland is a sovereign nation of its own. Are you paying attention? Is a sovereign nation of its own. Likewise, other countries in EU, France, you know, Netherlands, Germany, and all, all of them. So, how does this engagement affect somebody who is a citizen of Finland? Knowing fully well that the European Union is a union that operates within the ambit of the law. And based on the law, the law has given Mazi Simon Ekpa the right of association, the right of expression, the right of free speech, and the right to fight for his freedom. So how is the European Union going to help the zoo? They have failed even before taking up the journey. So I don't want to talk too much because of my time. Maybe I'm going to talk about this later when I come on live broadcast. Thank you, my people. Tosalo Numozia, as the zoo has failed once again and make it go viral.